Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another week of our Gospel Reflections. Today's reflection is for Monday in the 22nd week of Ordinary Time. We begin our reflection in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Gospel this morning comes from Luke chapter 4, verses 16 to 30. Jesus came to Nazara, where he had been brought up, and went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day, as he usually did. He stood up to read, and they handed him the scroll of the prophet Isaiah. Unrolling the scroll, he found the place where it is written, The Spirit of the Lord has been given to me for he has anointed me. He has sent me to bring the good news to the poor, to proclaim liberty to captives, and to the blind new sight, to set the downtrodden free, to proclaim the Lord's year of favour. He then rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the assistant, and sat down. And all eyes in the synagogue were fixed on him. Then he began to speak to them. This text is being fulfilled today, even as you listen. And he won the approval of all, and they were astonished by the gracious words that came from his lips. They said, this is Joseph's son, surely. But he replied, No doubt you will quote me the saying, Physician, heal yourself. And tell me, we have heard all what happened in Capernaum. Do the same here in your own countryside. And he went on, I tell you solemnly, no prophet is ever accepted in his own country. There were many widows in Israel, I can assure you, in Elijah's day, when heaven remained shut for three years and six months, and a great famine raged throughout the land. But Elijah was not sent to the, any of these. He was sent to a widow at Zarephath, a Sidonian town. And in the prophet Elisha's time, there were many lepers in Israel, but none of these was cured except the Syrian, Naaman. When they heard this, everyone in the synagogue was enraged. They sprang to their feet and hustled him out of the town. And they took him, up, took him up to the brow of the hill their town was built on, intending to throw him down the cliff. But he slipped through the crowd and walked away. The Gospel of the Lord. Before I begin... I just want to note that for a while now, we have been reading the Gospel of Matthew, and that from now on, we will also be reading from the Gospel of Luke. In today's Gospel, we hear of an electrifying scene in the synagogue of Nazareth, where Jesus finds and reads the passage from Isaiah on the coming of the Spirit, fulfilled at that moment. Those listening express strong disapproval, thinking they know him too well, that he is too ordinary for them. The peace is shattered, and Jesus proceeds to shatter it further by proclaiming if that, that if they do not want him 
he will follow the examples of the old prophets, Elijah and Elisha, by bringing happiness and healing to those beyond the borders of the land of Israel. As I mentioned earlier, we are now reading from the Gospel of Luke. So we must never forget that Luke is a Hellenistic historian writing according to the methods and conventions of Hellenistic history. And one of the ways in which this type of writer writes explains the significance of events by putting a speech in the mouth of the principal character. So here, Luke puts a quotation from Isaiah and its explanation in Jesus' own mouth as a keynote speech. And so it's a dramatic scene, sharp and wounding. Jesus pulls no punches, even quoting their own proverbial jibe, physician, heal thyself. Jesus leaves no doubt that he has come to the poor and the oppressed and that he will find them as did the prophets who preceded him outside the chosen people. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you for joining me for our Gospel Reflection today. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow and sharing some more with you. Until then, take care and God bless. Thank you.